Hello. Hello. Hello from Santa Fe as we are traveling. Look at these fun cards we're going to make today. These are corner bookmark cards. So look what happens. It's like a gift in a card. This comes out Sweet. and this is your thing to put. And this is perfect for you because we know. love I and know. we love giving books to as gifts. So how cute is that? So welcome. Yes, we've had a snowy morning. Looks like it's, <laughs> we brought winter everywhere we went this month. So I must say, so, so glad to have everyone here. Before we make those, you know, usually this is the time we share cards from you guys. And since we're traveling, we don't have any. But so I thought I was going to just show again. And I put this down, this fun card. Uh, we did this as a little live, but I thought it'd be fun to show it again. This is something Tim picked up little refrigerator magnet. He loves collecting things like this. And he said, Karen, this is me. Cause you know, he loves working <laughs> for, for, for me. And then I take him on all these trips like this month and, you know, going to England and <laughs> anyway, so, so of course I looked at this and I immediately saw the map stamp that we carry and the new, these great alphabets. So we turned this into, so I have a video on this if you want to see it being done, but so we did like this will work for travel. travel and if you can see on this there's actually a world or kind of the west where is it, it yeah. yeah there's a map there's yeah. a map on that too so uh norway isn't on there so no. see we had to use this one because yes. we're going to be going to norway yes so i also since i was showing that thought i'd show a couple other cards using these uh alphabets and of course one of you would have to tell us where those alphabets are in the catalog because i don't even have my catalog here right now traveling but i love this look at the smiles and mm -hmm. love to you and if you see here the alphabet is cut through so if you were making this as a card you would get a double card because you'd have the soft succulent letters pulled out for smiles and then do you see how this is backed on the gold so this one is inset. It's coming through, but you'd still have those to make another card out. Does that make sense? And this is popped up. Yep. And this and gorgeous that is, background. That's paper. hard to read, even in person, but it's... But yeah, it is just scary. a stunning card. And this was made by Brenda Springer. I thought that was just really cool. And, you know, it's hard to control lighting when we're gone. So hopefully this will um, all be fine. So we'll, and then... We're going to apologize ahead of time. Yep. Oh, this is interesting because both of these are showing the inset because here too, now that then you'd have the wild in black to put in an, another card. This card, let's see who it's wild made by you. first. This is Debbie McNeil. And I, you know, this is a strip card with three little strips there, but look that wild for you, smiles and love to you. How cool are those? I just think this is really a, fun, cool. uh, a fun alphabet to work with. Yes, we are in Santa Fe. Uh, Sunday, we start heading home. And we have just had a very chilly, <laughs> chilly month. And you know, we're nowhere, we know we're going home to feet of snow. Alphabet Alamo, thank you, Kim. Page 61 of the mini catalog. Perfect. So and I just love that idea how you get the negative, how you can get two cards out of one thing. Because, you know, it is putsy working with alphabet dies like that, but it makes it way more worth it when you can do two cards at one time. So that's so fun. So I'm going to show you the card that started today's idea. This was made by Deb Snyder. And I just thought this was stinking cute, as we like to say. It was never in my vocabulary before this. But I love how she took, and I hadn't made these in a long time, and I thought this is fun to do again. And I love her idea of taking the circle there and then layering it on a larger circle. It just made such a cute card. So I'm doing that. But know that Ooh. you can take this idea and do all kinds of other things with it. So it's just kind of a fun. So as we like to say, this is, we're going to make, going to make this one first, but I wanted to show, show, this would be your little scrap thing. Oh, I know that owl's so cute with this, but as you're looking at these cards, you're gonna think of all kinds of things you can put on this. And of course, this is the challenge for uh, the Backport Stampers. Uh, so come show what you make out of that, out of yours. But, you know, I talk about having some little thing to keep as a reference for making this card. So this is our little cheat sheet if you want to make one of this to go along. So we're just talking about this part of the card. So isn't that cute? Let's see, let's put it over here. So see, see how it just folds in right there. So here's where you could write or do anything else. I just think that is so fun. 
So this piece is six and a half by four and a quarter scored at three and a quarter. Uh, the blog post will go live right after this. The project sheet will be ready to download tomorrow. You have to just give us overnight to get that done because my VA does that for me. So this is what I would keep to store. And then this is a five inch square paper. You guys look at that right there. Can you just see how easy that is? This is what we're making today. <laughs> there is just nothing to this. I think this is so cool. So I just fold that up and I put the five inch square right there. So I have it. And then it's going to just tuck right in here and you have a perfect thing. So you could give just the small. Oh, I've got doubles there. I guess I don't even need doubles. You, this small thing itself could be the card. We're just layering it onto a big card, but you can see how that could just be your card too. So we ready to get started. So say, say how you cut this. Well, we're going to make it. So we're going to make it. Okay. Okay. Amzeb is thanking me for her birthday card. You guys, we send out 250 birthday cards a month. I said, we're going to see how long we can keep this going as the numbers grow. But I think how fun is that? We just love it. We love having you guys in our community. And that's all, all over in the back porch stampers. And after about four days, five days of mailing things out, I finally <laughs> found the perfect um, post office. There's so many post offices that just have one employee in a long line. He kept trying and he kept coming back and saying, I couldn't mail these today. Cause you know, between all the things, including your card kits, we're <laughs> mailing all these things out. So every couple of days, Tim goes to the post office. So this is my base card for all of these. So we're not going to deal with this again. This is just my base card here. Cause this is the little card that opens. So this is a quarter sheet of paper of cardstock. So it is five and a quarter by four and a quarter, five and a half by four and a quarter. And then a quarter inch down would be five and a quarter by four inch. So this is just to make this into a full card. Okay. So we'll have that for each. Now we're going to work on this. Isn't this just cute, you guys? I just think this is so fun. So now you're going to take your five and a half. And like uh, you could just be doing copy paper and doing this first thing first. So feel free to do that. I'm going to leave that while we look at it. So I'm going to make one. And then Tim and I are going to make one together. Oh, yeah. I mean, each make one separate. I'm hearing uh, yes, that for that. the first time. Uh, yep, yeah, yes. He, right he never knows. That's the deal. He never knows. I'm going to fold it in half. All I do is this show is up. Like a hot dog fold. I'm going to open it. And I'm going to do it the other way. Uh, those of like you taco fold. who craft with kids, oh, they'll love making these too. This is just so fun. Okay. Now I'm going to do this. And now I want to cut out one corner. Okay. Buried in here is my scissors. Okay. Uh, Rhonda was saying that small size looks like an invitation size card. And you know what? Even if it isn't that, I think it is too. But even if it isn't, you could use the invitation size card because you all know measurements don't really matter. So if you've got the smaller cards, you absolutely use is those. Is this directional? Um, this is not directional paper. I don't think I did any of these in directional, kind of on purpose because they're kind of, they're kind of a... Kind of going like that. Okay, does that make sense? Yep. All right, we're gonna fold this up. We're gonna take this and we are going to fold it. Now here's where I can choose. I can go way out to the corner if I wanted to do it. I could show a bunch. I'm gonna show you how I've done them different ways. Okay, you guys look at that. This is it. Then all we need to do is close up this part. Sweet. This is the part that I want to be open to go on my book. So I can close this part. Let me see which parts that is. So I guess I'll do all of that, right? We'll see. You know, I made all the things from traveling. And even next Thursday when we'll be home, I had did all those in January. So I'd have them ready because we'll be busy unpacking. So then I haven't made the things for a month, basically. How adorable is that? I think it's just easier to not have directional. Now, if I wanted to see more of that, I'm going to, uh, I should have made a little less of that. But see, it isn't going to matter. I just think that is so fun. So then my base card, um, which is floating around here. Oh, which is floating around. Oh, right here. Uh, no, <laughs> it isn't. I have a base card floating around, but we'll have them on the next one. Okay. So we'll just replace this with this. Okay. Now, if I want to add the you, little oh, you have to. thing here, I am going to... I'm going to put that on there and there, and then I'm going to 
put this in. And I was just kind of going by, I didn't want it to stick up too far out of the card. So let's see if I wanted it to go like there and there, I might want to cut this a little shorter. Okay, I'll close that up. And then all we're going to do um, is add these. And I guess I have to go to the next one because I, I don't see my white paper here. There is one here, so this card will be finished. Now I wanted to point out this card has no, it is just the card on this. And I think this is adorable. The next two, and this is what we're gonna each make one of. And Betty said she made some of these during the pandemic. I said, oh, and a fun thing to give with books. And if you like sending books to grandkids or kids too, I mean, how cute to put these in. We're gonna make these, Tim. Are because we? look at these are, these are the same, except for what's on here in the words. So I think this just shows how you can take one idea and just do so many different things with it. So I already, which one do you want to make? Um, I like it. I like heart. So I'm, I'm set with her. Okay. So here's yours. Just My, wanted to say, and then on the inside, oh, I have this closed up. This is my little temporary tape for pictures. Uh, okay. Then the inside just wanted to say what? Happy birthday, thinking of you, get well, anything at all you want it to say. So we're each going to get, okay, and then here's mine. So see, I just did, I did the words early. So here we have our little, our little, um, and these are six and a half by four and a quarter scored, but these could be any. The main part you want to focus on right now is just making the bookmark. Because then just know you whatever you choose to do with them would be awesome. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Okay, here's your paper. Okay. And here's mine. We're going to set that aside and we're just going to fold together. Okay, aren't these fun? All right. Okay, let's fold together. Okay, and I don't, I'm going to, okay. I'm going to fold in half. You got to do it where we can see it, Tim. You got to get in the camera so they know you're really working and that you're really not showing something that was pre-done, you know. Okay. And we could score them, but it's DSP. We don't need to. It's so flexible. Okay. And then you're going to open it and fold it the other way. I call this, you know, when you kind of, it's like a gift and a card. And this would be perfect to put in either with a book or a gift card for a bookstore or something like that, which we love giving things like that. Okay. And then he's going to cut out a corner. So who's making this with us? Oh, well, Claudia said her great, great grandkids are starting to read. This would be perfect to give with new books. Yes, it would. And you know, you could do just the bookmark too. And I just think if you're giving a book and it's about something, let's say you're giving a book and it kind of related, you know, if you can find something kind of related, how perfect to just give the bookmark with the gift and put a fun note on the back, happy reading or from grandma, from, you know, whatever. The nice thing about this is that it's got lines on it so you can see how crooked <laughs> Okay, and I'm going to cut mine out. And did you see what you do next then? How you just fold um, it up? I do, but is it? So we're just going to fold these two up. Okay, just a second. Yep, just like that. Okay. And then flip it over. And so your main part, your main part's like this. You flip it over. No, no, flip this over. Oh, okay. So this will be your main part. And then you're going to decide how much red. This time I'm going to do more red showing. So I'm just going to put it like that. And it's just kind of fun because you can make them each a little different. And then we'll just close up this bottom part. Which I did. Okay, I need to put this on. I'll do that part. And then close it up. So... <laughs> Catherine said she's just watching now because she just cleaned up her craft space. But well, it's going to change because you know you got a craft. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> and Deborah says she loves that um, Tim does cart crafts with him. But you guys do realize he only performs for the camera. That's Tim right. does not sit and make things with me ever. <laughs> ever. He likes to put his two cents in if I want an opinion about something. You know, okay. then that so works. Put that in there. Uh, okay, but first we're going to let's see. Let's look at our base cards. I'm uh we're gonna okay, we're gonna put these on red. So let's take your yeah. 
So, so here's what's kind of fun because we're making these different. These I added because this was a, kind of the more mint color. I just thought the red kind of set this off again. So I put these Ooh. on red. Now this could be your whole card itself. So could this. So see, we could just play around. It wouldn't have to go on the big one. We're just going to work on these parts of it. Okay. Yeah. So now you can see how this is going to go on here. Yes, you're going to put that. You're right, Tim. You're going to put that Ooh. on there. What are you doing? That? Uh, sure. Actually, I'll just put a little there. To, so you can put that. You're going to kind of just put that in the center, kind of however you want to see it like that. And I'm going to take mine and do the same. These in the center. So, so to see how these could just be alone now. And you, you could teach kids just to make this part and now this is gonna fit in your book. So this could just go in. So if we wanna add, the, let's not even add the ribbon on these. I showed how to do that, but I thought they really don't need it because you can really just slip this into the book. Now yep. what's fun. Is this mine? Yep, yeah, you're okay. gonna put that on your card. And I just added a little piece just to keep everything the same, just a little piece, because it needed a little something more down here. Now, if I had it more stamped or bigger words, all of this is optional. You're going to put that towards the bottom. Um, I have a question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jane says she has to do this really soon after, or she'll forget. <laughs> yes, I know. Can I put this <laughs> underneath? Yes. So now this is the finishing touch. And I just loved this because I had made this part before, but I had never done it like this with the red underneath. And am I missing a second red? You guys, I do have pieces along for all these. It just, uh, you know, traveling is its own kind of a thing. And I'm not finding the right color. So we're going to do yours with and yours without. So just what you're doing, do it in the camera. So what we're going to do, do you see how you're, yeah, you are centering it like that. So we're just going to put some tape on it and do just what you did. Center it where you want it to be. I think that extra circle just is the finishing touch here. The small white card is right here if you need a screenshot, but just know it's going to be on my, <laughs> on my blog right after this. Or you could use any of the little mini note cards that you have, anything little like that. It's just something. Um, mm -hmm. And the reason it's smaller size, it could even be, this could be full size to you guys if you aren't putting this on. The reason this is smaller size is so that we can add this little loop. But if you're not adding that, this oh. could go on a full size card. So just no measurements ultimately don't matter. Feel free to design and make your own. Sizes of the so circles could, don't it matter. It could be done. Yes, that's why I was important. I think this could be done. This could be done. This could be done. Do you see how we're just adding yep. pieces and just kind of making it um, a finishing touch? But I think it's just really cool. And I also love now, if you look at this one, so look at these side by side, these, this one, we added this little red. This one, we did not. This is just the very mm. simple part. And this next one, oh, here's another one. Let's let's show this one. Look at here, the work is, I gotta put that back down so it covers the circle. Uh, this is from the, he's the man, is it? And this is just right from the die cuts. So to see how you can just use anything. Is that frothy root beer? Yes, I think it would be. That It would be for us. <laughs> but look how cool that is. See how that just pulls off? But I think that is really fun. Uh, and this one too does not have anything extra. So these two are totally plain. And this last one, I add the extra piece back here. So there's not a small piece here, but this is just to show once you've made your card, how you layer it onto the big, all doesn't matter. Because if you notice on this one, we'll do this one instead of, do you see how we've got three layers here instead of a small layer under there? Does that make sense? Are people following along? Does this make sense? <laughs> so with the flowers, so of course, this is like I did the others. So this is... Could you what? Um, show the three-fourths piece again. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, we'll show... I'll, I'll do the ribbon again on this one. So we'll show what to do with the ribbon, okay? So I'll do this one from scratch. So this is just like I made these, these original ones. So this is quarter sheet of cardstock on the bottom. And then this is five and a quarter by four. And this is five 
by three and three quarter. We're just going down a quarter inch. Okay, so this is gonna be my background. And then I'm going to put my card on this and I'm not backing this in something else. So it's just to show all the possibilities. Whatever you do with your card is totally perfect. So I'm going to take this. And let's start by just putting our little thing on the bottom here. We are staying in this adorable Airbnb this week in Santa Fe. And we just absolutely love it. I said it I could live here. It is so cute. And it has everything we need. Okay, so I'm going to do this one from scratch. I'm going to fold in half. Open it and fold in half again the other way. I'm going to cut out one corner. And I do think non-directional paper is the easiest for this, but you know, so what you, when you put your cards up in the back porch stampers, use anything you have at home. It doesn't need to be stamping up anything. I just think we're all more creative together than we are separately. And do you see how now these will fold up together? And actually, why don't I even fold that up right now just to show you it this should. way? Okay, I'm going to fold these up. I don't think I was as careful about folding this one. <laughs> and then I'm going to flip it over because this is my plain one. And this is where I'm going to mark this. So how cool is that? Now, to put my ribbon in, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. This is going to be my ribbon and I'm going to put it between these two things. So the reason I'm going to put my tape here and here is so that I'm getting both sides. Cause you see, if I only did this side, I would be getting it there. Not there. And it probably worked, but when I close this up, this isn't really attached. Yes. So I'm also going to, does that make sense? So it I'm sure also going to put some there and then I will close that up there. And that's how it will attach my ribbon. So this is going to come on here and then I am going to, oh, and so here I'm using a flower and I am not, it has kind of a circle shape, but you know, you could use any kind of die cut too. And this doesn't need to be a, um, a circle either. You think of all kinds of just get creative, but this kind of has its own circle shape. Oh, I didn't do that right. Cause I don't, I don't want my flower looking like that, do I? So I better think about that. I will rub that off. So I wasn't paying close enough attention. Yeah, Tim, that's your to, job to, to uh, save, no, save me. To go this way. Save me from myself here. Okay, I'm going to put that on, and then I'm going to. I just appreciate the fact that she this under has me do one in the middle, but not all three. <laughs> so so you'll do One's that. One's enough. And then so do you see again? This could be the gift right here, and I'm just going to put it on there to make it a full size card. So I just think these are so fun. So let's show. They are. Um, we did these four and this one. So we have all five of these. So uh, yes. And then the, the one that I got. So look how cute these all are. So as you look at these, you'll think of lots of other ideas of what you can do, do with us. We love hearing what you're going to do, which one's your favorite, who you're going to make these for. And I just, you know, and it is like a gift. I think this is like a gift itself because this is something you take off and use. I just think this alone is just so adorable. Not getting how to fold and glue. Come back and watch it again. Do you want me to do one more? Uh, uh, I just moved the camera. Do you know what? It'll make sense because I think it shows step by step on my blog post. And if it doesn't, I'll have to go back and change that, but probably not till I get home. <laughs> but I do love it. Let's see if I have... Uh, let's see, I was looking to see if I had any. Oh, I do have one extra. I'll show. Okay. Um, Ron is going to make some to give out as little participation prizes at a writing conference you're going to. Is that ever called? Is that ever cool? Okay, this is going to be a quick. And at, um, ask more questions. If you have more questions, I'm going to show this one more time. If we fold in half. And, and this is where... I think sometimes it's easy if to have this. Take a screenshot of this because I think this really helps when you just see this, how to fold. Because you can see this becomes, this might be the easiest way of all to look at it. Because you see this is your front part and these just close up behind it. That probably may, makes more sense than my doing again. Does that make sense? So this is what you want your piece of paper to look like. 
Uh, Lynn is going to do it for granddaughter's encouragement card at the Air Force Academy. I love that. Ooh. I love uh, reading all these different things. And someone else just said, um, she, her sister is a reader. Oh, Linda, her sister has a birthday in a week and loves to read books. What a perfect card. And I think if you have kids in your life, it's just an encouragement. If you know that they're a good reader or something too and love to read, mm -hmm. what a fun encouragement. Um, I absolutely love it. The size circle, these are, um, I will tell you, um, but I'm also going to tell you, you can use any size, you know, because that's what I always tell you. Uh, it is, <laughs> see if I can measure. Uh, it looks like one, two and a half inch and two and a quarter inch. Uh, but think of all kinds of things that will work. Anyone would love these. I think they're fun. And, you know, and I think you'd figure out what to do. I mean, that is just such a cute card. And you would look at that and think, oh, what is this? And figure that out. Anyway, so thank you for joining. I absolutely love doing things that are quick and easy. And then seeing what you guys, you guys take, you know, we're more creative together than we are separately. Make sure you're on my email list so you get the supplies each time. And um, uh, and make sure if you like, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. That really actually helps us out a lot. So thanks a lot, everyone. And we'll see you next week from home. Goodbye. Bye.